let's get to work. I'm single and I'm bitter about it, right? Here's the thing, my ex-girlfriend lied to me. Four years ago, she looked me dead in my face and she lied. She said, Sydney, if you ever leave me, I'll kill myself. That's what she promised, right? I look on Facebook today, I see she married and got two kids. They didn't took a family photo and put it up online. Everybody leaving comments like, oh my God, I'm so happy for you. You so bliss, black love. I was pissed. I left a comment like, that's crazy because you're not even supposed to be here right now. Like we shook on it, we had a deal. And you breathing, that's crazy. You gotta know what you want. Like, ladies, stop saying you ready for kids, but all the plants in your house dead. <laughs> you killed a cactus, but you want a son. Like, that don't... I feel like this. I feel like you can't be a hoe your whole life, and then one day say, I want to get married. Like, hoe don't just disappear. That's a myth. Ho has to gradually leave your body over time. That's why, like, real credit is to hold you accountable for your past actions. If you fucked up financially last year, you can't do certain shit this year. You could apply. Shit. Anybody could apply. But you'll get that email like, nigga, not right now. I'm saying just like we got real credit, we need relationship credit, too. Something to hold people accountable for their past actions. So if you was a hoe in 2016 and 2017, then you can't date me in 2018. Like, why not? Because your hoe hasn't cleared yet. It takes seven years for hoe to come off your record. I'm from the suburbs, man. I'm from the suburbs of Fort Worth, Texas, and I'm proud of where I'm from. All my homeboys from the hood, they be trying to make me feel bad, and I don't. I don't. Like Tony from the hood, he like, you from the suburbs? Like, yeah, like you booze. Like, mm, I could be, nigga, I don't know. <laughs> I grew up with everything I wanted, you know what I mean? Like, I had incredible Christmases. <laughs> that's all we talk about. Like, I'm from the projects. You know what that's like? I'm like, nigga, absolutely not. <laughs> no. You wanna go? Heavens no, nigga. Mm -mm. And leave this great community, nigga, no. That's all I heard growing up. Like, you ain't never been a fight because you ain't from the streets. You ain't never been a real fight because you ain't from the streets. I'm like, nigga, relax. I've been in plenty of fights. They were just in really nice neighborhoods. There's some true shit. One time I got beat up in front of a neighborhood watch sign. Hey, Mustard, I'm so arrogant. The whole time I'm getting beat up, I'm like, nigga, help has to be on the way. So all I do, man, I just sit at home, I watch TV, dog. You know what I mean? I like The Voice, that's my favorite show. It is, because I'm an artist, I want to see people win. I love the way that show's set up. You know what I mean? You got these people from small town trying to sing their heart out. And if they good, it'll change their whole life. But the judges start the show so cold, they're not even looking at you. They start the show like this, and if you're not good, they won't even fucking turn around. <laughs> you could be singing your heart out like, oh yeah, they'd be like, no, nigga, no. <laughs> but if you good, turn around change your whole life like I wish they had the same show but for kids who wanted to be adopted right just relax you just had these potential orphans walking up like pleading their case and potential parents like all right who we got send them out like how you doing um my name is Vincent uh, 13 I'm from Beaumont I hate it here like mm, don't want a complainer no I don't I feel like I would be that gullible judge, you know what I mean? Turns around too soon, because I want a kid so bad. I just would turn around too soon. Like, who we got? Like, how you doing? Uh, my name's Rodney. Uh, I'm 16. I'm six foot eight. I love basketball. I'm like, like, but I'm in a wheelchair. Like, oh, fuck. Shit. 